what kind of camera captured it? Like, was it from a plane or from a drone? It was from an aerostat. Um, it was from our PTIDS, which stands for Persistent Threat Detection System. It's a big, giant balloon that is tethered to the base, and it just kind of floats. It has a big camera on it. And it just kind of scans the perimeter of the base to make sure that there's no threats incoming in, into the perimeter. Um, I don't know how they found it. Uh, originally, I think they just saw movement on, on, on the sensor, and they just started following it, and that that's what came up. As far as I know, there was no other sensors that could perceive it. Um, no night vision. Nobody was able to see it with the naked eye. There are no other um, cameras or anything that picked it up. The only thing that was able to perceive it was the uh, was the thermal sensor on the on the aerostat. Did anyone that you know of or hear about see it with their own eyes, or was it just on the camera? Just on the camera. So Ashley, uh, he says that there was no one on the ground that was able to see it. That it was just that one camera. Uh, and that it was very, very mysterious and just went unexplained, but they did not think of it as a threat per se. But what did they think? Did they think this was, well, I know that he wasn't sure, he's calling it the ghost story, but does he have any intelligence on what the rest of the military thought? Because clearly military intelligence wouldn't have just brushed it off as a ghost story. No, he, yeah, exactly. And surely there were higher ups that, that were investigating. He's not aware of it. He says in the control center where he was, you weren't allowed to bring your phone in. It was a secret location. It's where they monitored the drones and monitored the cameras. So he wasn't able to, no one was able to like get a picture of it with their phone. It was all really clamped down. It was people who worked in that center that were able to see the video. Um, but he, he did elaborate a little bit on what he thought maybe it was. Uh, listen, listen to a little bit of that. Was the object in the video ever perceived as a threat? Not entirely. It was it was just an unknown. Um, as far as I know, when when they started seeing it on the camera, they were watching it to make sure that it wasn't a threat. And I believe some of the Marines were tasked to try to find it on night vision, and, and they were looking for it with their other sensors and everything else that we had. Um, and they couldn't find it. So th they kept an eye out, but it, it wasn't like we were scrambling to our defensive positions or anything like that. It was just a, a big unknown. Did you think when you watched it for the first time that like, it could be, you know, non-human? It crossed my mind because the theories that we had, like I said, didn't, didn't fully explain it. And so naturally, I think our human mind or our curiosity kind of goes there and it's like, you know, is this, is this something extraterrestrial or extra dimensional or paranormal or, or whatever, you know, you want to call it. So, I mean, yeah, the thought crossed my mind, but I'm still looking for logical explanations. Do you think it should have been taken more seriously from like a security perspective? I don't think we could have taken it more seriously because it was such just a weird incident. Um, something like that, all you can really do is keep an eye on it and, and try to, uh, get eyes on it from other sensors and, and other perspectives. And, and we just couldn't, and it didn't seem to be posturing to threaten us at all. So it, it wasn't like we needed to take immediate action against it. So yeah, I think it was handled in the best way possible. Like I said, it kind of just ended up being kind of like the ghost story of the base. It was interesting, Ashley, to hear him keep calling it the ghost story. And then I, I asked him, and you mentioned it, I said, like, the jellyfish, you know, were you guys calling it the jellyfish? And he said, no, we never even thought of calling it the jellyfish. From the beginning, they called it uh, the spaghetti monster, which sounds kind of funny, but, you know, you got these Marines in the middle of Iraq, that, this is the name they came up for it, and, uh, you know, never really knew what they were dealing with there. I'm astounded they didn't try to shoot it down. I, I'm, I'm astounded, like you asked him about the security concern. Why wasn't there a muster? Like, why didn't, why didn't they scramble into that defensive position? Um, you know, if, especially if it might have been foreign intelligence. You know, I, I'm, I'm interested in that. Why is he speaking out now, Brian? Well, he's speaking out because he says he's always known that he saw this video. Obviously, he's talked to his friends about it, and he was totally shocked 
when he saw the video on TV a couple of days ago. He could not believe. He said it was classified. He cannot believe that this got out. And he just wanted to acknowledge, like, he's like, look, I've been telling this story for years. Everyone kind of looked at me a little like I was a little crazy. And he's like, he wanted to acknowledge this is the video that I've been talking about. I wonder if there are others uh, who come forward, too, who were part of the uh, the ghost story on the base, so to speak. Brian, way to go. Uh, great reporting. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.